Hey y'all, this is Urs, and welcome back to the Long War. And I was looking at my mech, I'm like, why is it so squishy, and why is your aim so bad? Then I realized I didn't equip her with core armoring, alloy carbide, or battle computer. Yeah, first mission of the month. Sometimes I do dumb shit. But, we still have a mech toy to deal with. It's a swarming mission, so we're expecting a lot more alien contact. So I want to kind of get ready for that, take this breather that we have, to kind of set up for that. Just for some shits and giggles. Confirmed. On our way. Uh, and for that in mind, like we're gonna deactivate this flight mode stuff. We're gonna get everyone back moving. Normally, we're gonna need that Chilling for shooting trust. across the way. So I don't want to burn all my fuel right now. Wait, it takes a, it takes a move to land, huh? Oh, some bitch. All right. Well, this is f uh, this is full cover. Hold on. Let's say this is fine, but I don't want. No, no, it's only half cover. So Hank actually still needs to stay to cover when he's trying to move up here. So let's get Hank like this, because the mech toy is going to probably come up this ramp. There's no other way for him to get up here. These are ladders. Yeah. So he's going to have to ramp up, and there's no way he'll be able to get a decent angle on Hank that way. Jerry Freeman, same thing, man. Just get moving. Rockets down. I know, I must have used one of Hank's moves already. All right, so J-Ray, get up let's do here this. quickly. We can get a nice overwatch position Solid from here. Count. Krungle can get here, and because we have our Mutant Elite Capture par excellence, Saeed right here, giving us a little bit of happy coverage, we can hunker him down, and then we effectively have almost something as good as full cover from that position, which is great. I really appreciate it. So we're going to let that in. Going to let my mech go up. Now I'm really concerned about my mech, because my mech is now officially critable, which I didn't realize at the time. I mean, she's hardened, so it's not that easy, but she is critable, which... Which is no bueno. Uh, so a little bit of mistake. We're gonna have to play a little more gingerly with her than I was intending, but Moving out. no whatevs, man. So we still have no eyes. Uh, we heard floater, I do believe. We heard sectoid. So both those things are, you know, deal withable. My guess is that floater represents heavy floater Got bonanza. My guess is sectoid represents Let's another mechtoid this. pack somewhere. That's kind of par for the course for these sort of things right now. Need the reload. Tyler needs the reload. I mean, I wouldn't mind throwing Tyler out here, but because I'm afraid of activating something, Locked I still have that mech toy live and active and prowling. Make sure we're ready for it. Just, I'm gonna I'm take ready. an opportunity to reload most of everyone who can afford the reload. And we can watch the overwatches besides. Like, we don't have a lot of actives. It's not like we need to watch massive amounts of overwatch situation. So we're good. We're good. We're gonna take this opportunity to reset and refit. We'll be fine. That last repair servo come up so we can efficiently heal her later. Mm. You hear that? I'm definitely getting that floater vibe coming. All right, let's see what we got. We have we have a motion track. How? Where is that mechtoid? Mechtoid is right on the other side of this truck. Get in the truck. Then we got a floater pack way. of some sort. Okay, two two very very bunched up packs. It may behoove me to throw a scan so I can use Hank to activate those. We've got eyes on so the So we AO. can just quickly deactivate via murder. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. So we do have heavy floaters. That's no question in my mind. Looks like... Uh, a pack of heavies. I don't see anything Warm Master sized. Maybe that guy is a little bigger. Could just be hulking over. I don't see anything Warm Master sized. We do have another Exalt pack, which seems to be the flavor of the month. Last month, too. But alright, whatever. Hank can go ahead and activate them off. And that's probably not a bad plan, actually. Get a free murder shot, or we could just straight up fly up. Lifting off. And get lots of free murder shots, which is I'm almost more in favor of, honestly. Let me kind of get up in this direction. Gotta, gotta get up! Get down! Alright. Yeah, Hank, you're gonna be doing a lot of work for me, I think. 100%, 100%. So these easy kills here, these we happy few, we easy killers, we who are ready to give all for king and country. No, not king and country. What is this? The council and country? Really? Really? 70% chance you screwed up my murder everything combo? Really? I should have killed the sectoid. Son of a bitch. All right, well. <sighs> The goat ass. All right. Um. Well, that kind of blows, Donkey Dunku. You have eyes on something. Oh, you have eyes on flanked sectoids. 
Oh, dude. Do what Hank could not do today. He's down. Do better. This is a great position for our gunner. We're getting those little corner because it kind of uh, corner connections, I guess, is the word for it. That is just working beautifully. We'd be rocking it, and it'd be showing. All right. So Tari could go up here, but again, I want them to come to me, and deactivating that many units on that pack is a good deal. I'm saying deactivating would be politically safe. correct. I'm going to say, outright fucking murdering, man, would be more correct, I suppose, but, you know, reasons. Uh, we don't need flight here, though. We do need him to get to cover, but we don't need flight. Nothing's going to see him from here anyway. Time I feel like double. taking J-Ray right there is fine. Be able to set up a decent rocket if we need to zing it past that car. Take vision of that XCOM guy from somewhere, or are we going to be... XCOM exalt guy from somewhere, or are we going to be kind of shit's creek up it? Ah, briefly I saw something. Yeah, we can see him from there. Can we see him from here? That No, we can't. It's only that one narrow angle, or here. And here provides us... Uh, might provide us with vision on... No, it should provide us with vision on the heavy floaters. We would see that highlighted already. I need something that gives me a flank, and I think that does, that line. It's right there, I believe. Looks like we're clear on the heavy floaters. Let me go ahead and do that. Need him to die. Very good. Yes, flank. Yes, flank. Hunt it. Hunt it percent. Hunt it down. Very, very good job. All right. Tariq, because we're not at really threat right. of anything right now, that's fine. Venture one, Moving. because that mechtoid could come around and rearrange our face, let's overwatch this way. He's like, we just got nearly completely crushed by XCOM. This was not good. And now, I knew they were gonna, as soon as we were here, I knew they were gonna come up. Looks like we might have a war master on our hands. Good thing Krungle did all of six damage to it. Yeah. How big and beefy are you? Oh, you're setting up for my rocket. Oh, thanks. That's good. That's good. Appreciate it. Mech? Now, you're not taking shots. You're all supposed to be not shootable. There we go. Good. 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 Mectoid still hanging. He's just gonna be hanging. All right. I'm relatively certain we have a war master to deal with. Yeah. Always, 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 always. There's a war master. But we have rockets, so that makes things easier. And plasma dragons and fun things. Where's my rocket? There we go. I was about to get ornery. But then I got high. Well, we can shred and then hope for good damage, which we will do. Going hard. Make the shred happen, my good man. Now this, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> As the heavy floaters would say. That means, ow, that hurt. This seems unfair. I say nay. This is perfectly as it should be. Now I have to take shots that are easier to kill because if we roll low, these hit points are still a little high for us. Yeah, these hit points are still a little high for us. I need to start whittling more down. Now Tyler, Tyler could provide a public service by suppressing, what? Oh, he actually doesn't have shots on everything. He has shots on the Exalt guy. Well, that kind of sucks, donkey ding dong. Let's see, Krungle has shots. 61, 66, 76, out. Yeah, providing hollow and all that would have been amazing. But that shit's clearly not happening. Odds are low. But Heator. Heator Mosquito. 52. Alright, what about panic rolls? Are they better? Yeah, panic rolls are way better. 80%, 67 on the War Master. He's gonna have to be a target. 81. It's 81, basically. Yeah, I wouldn't mind panicking one of these Angels of Death. That would be slick as hell. Okay, that's a plan. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Can you flame? You can't flame, not effectively. You can't really move because of that coverage. Saeed can drop PK field, which is good. I'm just really sad I can't do something with more, a little bit of AoE damage here. I think Krungle's gonna have to do her best and do some damage here. 76, 76, 61, 76. All right, let's try to whittle that guy down so we can get a guaranteed kill with Hank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a swing on Krungle, I think. Oh, surprise! I thought he was gonna hit. Nice shot, Krungle. 
So we're gonna keep executing one by one, hopefully, with the involvement of Hank, and then we should be able to whittle these numbers down, and we should be in a better shape than we were. I do really need to sacrifice that dragon at some point, but I still need more in the air war. I mean, our, our operations on the ground are fine. We're not, like, behind the eight ball or anything, so I don't want to necessarily... And again, the term isn't really waste, but... Grungle dropping bombs. I love it. I love it. This is what we need to see in order to keep this chain going, this chain of death. Perfect. That's handling. That's handling well. So what I'm probably going to use for Hank, last move, I'm going to reload and I'm going to mine merge my scout, which is going to provide her with extra will in order to panic out the War Master. We should be able to drop the last heavy floater without too much issue, maybe with... Yeah, if we had the battle computers, it would be a lot more likely. 61 isn't bad, though. Alright. So we're going to do it that way. I mean, Hank could really put another hurting on this guy. 90%, 100%. We had a more guaranteed source of damage. I'd totally take that. We could also suppress that fellow so we don't have to worry about him as much. And then Sign Spire. We could also technically Sign Spire here, but Hank's Mind Merge should be sufficient. Alright. Yeah, we're going to have to roll it like that. I have this feeling. I can't fight this feeling anymore. I promise we don't have Hank to drop the damage. I mean, really, the Exalt are not the big issue. These guys are. The Mind Merge ends your turn. So I'd rather... I'd rather take the shot with Hank, honestly. I mean, as much as I want to do this, I'd rather take a shot with Hank. Let's not panic here in case something really goes to hell. Let's go free Science Fire up. No retreat, no surrender. Good. Okay. Excellent. So now Spike should have a much better chance of panicking these goons. 97 on the War Master, 100% on the guy in the back. Let's roll the 97, because the War Master is by far the scarier one. No one can hear you scream. You panicked, right? Excellent. Okay. That's what I needed to see. I needed that to succeed. Everything else is more or less gravy. So, Hank, if you can reload... We're green to go. And give me another swing at the guy in the back. That'd be huge. Yeah, that guy. No chance to crit, but with two hit points, we should be able to do some good damage. Should I take the mech shot first, then, in that case? No one else got eyes on this thing? Saeed does not... Yeah, no one else really does. We kind of keep moving up our medic... Now that everything is kind of panicked. Mm, but if we hit, and we can probably collateral off the last dent. Can we even collateral off here? I think I need airburst rounds to be able to do this. No, I can actually target them with collateral, which is interesting. Alright, so let's try that with collateral then. Let's go ahead and take that last ping. This will guarantee this last guy's kill, effectively. Ooh, or Hank can... 0% chance to crit, and you rolled... You rolled really high. You rolled really high. 15 raw damage. Hank just raw dog, man. That's pretty badass. In which case, we can start doing damage to these guys or start dropping these fellows. We can kill that guy. Not really. Go ahead and deal with the heavy floaters. The exalt are nowhere near as dangerous as this guy, so the less hit points he has, the better. Seven damage. Yeah, he's, he's tanky. He's tanky. I'll give him that much. I'm on Did he get up here? What do you see? That guy, 45. Not too bad, but I'm probably going to need to set up a PK field. TK field, rather. Or you toss a smoke. TK or smoke? Uh, practically speaking, TK is reusable. Might as well burn that cooldown, and then we'll have the smoke for whenever we need it. Holy crap, this is huge. And centered on the person. I thought it was like a smoke grenade deployment. Okay, so it's basically... Right, it doesn't stack with his current aura. But it can provide... Oh, okay, I, I thought it worked like a smoke grenade. That's that's interesting. I was definitely under the impression that's how it functioned. All right. So, technically, smoke would be better. We do have two of these as well. All right, let me go ahead and do the smoke then. Roger that. I don't want my mech taking damage. We can avoid it. But at this point, though, the only thing that has eyes on the exalt... No, we have... Spike has eyes on the exalt as well. Never mind. So, smoke still makes sense. I was about to say, hey, we should move the mech back and we're safe from the exalt. We're not quite. Not quite there. Get the smoke grenade up, which would be great. Now we have coverage, which is awesome, so we're getting in better positions now. And at this point, then, we get, I think we could justify taking having Teddy take a shot. 
Or let me just actually rapid fire the mech. Go ahead and rock out. Oh, I think we got him. First try. First try, baby. I love it. Alright, Saeed, give me an overwatch. Got some pair servos rocking. Mmm. Tariq. Oh, Tariq. Missed. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he fucking did. He cannot decide where to stand. Oh, you do know that's vulnerable to collateral, right? Does that reduce the range of collateral? I think it may. Okay. No worth. Let's see. Tank, I need that suppression to stop, if you don't mind. Do you see the right guy who's suppressing Tariq or not? Because Tariq may be useful just to pitch a grenade down here. He has a field day with this. Yeah, oh, that's not Tariq. That would be... That would be our Rocketeer. Okay, well that's incorrect. <laughs> that was an incorrect move. We can hit something on the Mechtoid, that'd be fun. And more importantly, let's deal with the things properly. This reduces range of collateral. No, it does not, apparently. So it doesn't do damage to this guy to get rid of it. But his cover is really not the issue. So this douchebags. So let's go ahead, tank. What's your aim like here? 95, 100. Spike might have a really good way. See anything else here? I don't know, just see these three. There may be a pack on the far side of the moon here. Moving. See you on the dark side of the moon. Oh, really? We don't have eyes on the goddamn mechtoid for Siri ass. Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, fuckers. Apparently, suppression is not screwed with collateral range, so I'm all right with this. Break this cover as best we can, if you don't mind. The same deal. So Tyler now has shots on the currently. Oh, you have double tap. One on the flank guy, one on the main guy. Oh, must be my birthday. Handled with a plum, no less. Tyler does not fuck around when dealing with exalt. Tyler does not like exalt. <sighs> so funny. He likes that gun. The man likes his gun. That's all I can say. Alright, load this up. So I'm gonna be using you for a bit of hit and run action here. It's just... Mech toys are shitty and I want on to mitigate the amount of mech toy I have to deal with on a regular basis, okay? So, uh, medic. Medic can now shift out here, so we're more or less all right. Every threat has been effectively eliminated, save the mechtoid, which I'm going to be kind of waiting for, effectively. Just here. J-Ray is fine. Hank can reload and load up. Come on. We're not done with you. There we go. And Saeed. Ready to rock. Oh, look at this. Look at that. He's here. He is here. Surprise. I thought he was going to stay on Overwatch the whole time. He probably saw the scout with hit and run coming near him. He's like, oh, get me the hell away from there. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Shooting my mech. That's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a flank with our scout because we can get his hit and run okay. action. Relatively simplistic. 99 works for me. We have reactors. We burn them with our scout. It does not. We could get the hit and run kill. Oh, sugar doesn't have rounds. I was about to say, ah, sugar. All right, how many of these do we have? Do we have just one electro pulse? Let's find out. Let's see. We only have one go at this. Nine damage and disabled by EMP. And I think it's our only dose of that, or is that on a CD? I think it's only one dose of that, though. And apparently being up here, there we go. No, it looks like... Eh, we may be out of it. I think we may be out of it. Alright, no worries. I forget how that thing works. I think we only have one go at it, though. Saeed need kills. Jerry needs kills. Krunkle does not need kills. Medic needs kills. Medic. Oh, we can actually get Medic a kill. Perfect. Taken care of. Always preferred. Forgot how much that MP does. It's good damage. We nailed it, Commander. All right. Mission accomplished. Good enough. So despite putting 
our mech in a dumbass position. Without the proper equipment, we managed to handle that mission relatively well. And got ourselves a heavy weapon capture, so... Particle cannon for mech number one is gonna come up soon. Our troops are making it look easy out there. Thank you, Bradford. Let's hope they don't get too cocky. Not get too cocky. Let me talk about my cock. Alright, 12 Illyrium. Just what I needed. We will Just what I needed! I needed someone to feed! Alright, what do we have? 460 gives us 150 credits to be earned to kick out our first firestorm. I highly suggest we do that. 150. What can we sell? We gotta sell a bunch of these guys. We've been getting a lot of these lately. Mutant Elite Corpses works. These are like gold. Uh, I don't need that much more chitin plate. And sell the lid carcasses until morale improves. You know what? In case they ask for these, I want to make sure I can build at least one more chitin plate. Nope, that's like gold. Drone wrecks are still useful. I have a lot of captives I would love to sell. We sell phalanx at this point. Um, no, this is keeping in case we have another base raid. The alien supply is disturbingly high, so I want to be a little careful with that. Uh, flight computers, we need 48. They're about for... No, we need 40. Because we have a lot of these. No, we need more than that. Never mind, I'm miscounting. Or am I? It is 8 per Firestorm? Yes, yeah, so we can probably start selling some of these. Uh, we can probably sell two without too much of a worry. We sell some Bectoid cores. We don't need too many of these, actually. Let's do leave 25 and leave some Seeker X down. That'll give us the balance. Perfect. All right. Engineering build by items. Let's go here and take the Firestorm up. 460 even. And this is going to take us 16 days for our first advanced fighter craft. We'll put the Fusion Lance on. We'll do these as it comes. Uh, next priority, I'm not sure, is probably going to still be Firestorms, provided I can get enough Illyrium. And that's going to kind of fuel the Illyrium gain by shooting down more ships. And that's getting the Fusion Lance. So 16 days for this one, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Oh, Shen. Stop doing that. 16 days, 17 days for the fusion land, so that's pretty much right on point. It's good. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Uh, everything else so far is so good. We ordered everything we needed for the hangars. We have that rolling on. Now that the we research are in now. control of the hyperwave beacon, the real question is, what is it going to tell us? Perhaps we should try scanning for UFO activity in the meantime. Thank you, Valen. Uh, what I was going to do, actually, is change out stealth systems to get some Illyrium back. To basically, when you cancel a research or change research, it gives you back the resources, but you need those resources to complete it. And use that to build more firestorms. We have no other alternative research projects, so I resource, appreciate your efforts to research support projects. The research so, team, Commander. No can do! Already put the new can do! Alright. We've taken genetic modification further wow, than she's any talkative. of us ever imagined possible. She is talkative today. Our soldiers are now more than human in so many ways, all in the name of victory. Once we achieve that victory, the question remains, what will become of them? They're going to be badass normals with alien organs. Pretty much. New research. What do we got? Yep, stealth satellites and shadow armor. Pretty cool. And there's no new research projects available. So we just capped out on research. Except for the stuff that follows the hyperwave beacon, the alien stuff. So there's no more research for Valen to do. She must be very sad right now. But... Them's the brakes. Alright, that's pretty cool. I think I ever got to that point. The hyperwave beacon. Wait, what did you do? Shut it down. Do not touch anything. This could be what we've been waiting for. Yeah. It's ripping itself apart. Shut it down, now. It could destroy the whole base. Nine. Nine. Give it time. For once. Trust me. I do What's trust it doing you now? Me. It's calibrating. Working. Sir, new data is inbound from the hyperwave uplink. Aw oh, shit. We got it's Intel. Gamble seems to have paid off. Build the firestorm and set the overseer assault the crashed overseer. Doctor's curiosity. The risk was worth the reward. If we hadn't pushed on, there's no way we would have gotten this information. Yeah, so <laughs> obviously we're not doing this without a firestorm, which we're currently building, so that's fine. Um just to take a look at this thing. I still arming weapons. 
Uh, would Splinter even bother? Let's just go up and defensive just for a second so you can see how this looks like. It doesn't look too crazy. The damn thing is dangerous as hell. It's fully heavily armored. It's got nasty rapid firing weapons. We can't even catch this thing because it's so quick. Like, we need a firestorm to intercept, I think. Enemy oh no, we did get it. Padlocked. We're gonna get away we as soon as possible. But see, it's nice and purple. That's basically the only thing. Doing that to make Russia feel better, but we're not we're not doing anything with that. We can't. We can't afford to. There's a lot of events going on. We're scanning, we're scanning, we're scanning. We can't get we can't get the overseer. Don't even bother. Meld for engineers. Nigeria. I think that's worth the price of admission. Mainly because I need more shields in Africa. Yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. That's going to cost me some meld. I don't like spending meld this crazily, but I think it's totally worth it. Their engineers are nice, but eh. The drone wrecks. What is this? Tax sergeant for Brazil. Yeah, that's the one I'm not going to do. It's only got a couple hours left on it. All right. Contact detected. Scout target objective. So this is scouting. Small scout in Argentina. So we can get it relatively easy to kill easy to kill on T-Rex here, I think so. Wouldn't be bad to get one of our youngins a new kill. Defense! Defense! So we have two plasma cannons and three laser cannons coming up in two days, and it's gonna be we have a boon for bands. our aircraft wing. Come on, buddy. Make me proud. Approaching target now. Come on, T-Rex. No joy here. Wow, you got wrecked. T-Rex, get it? Oh no, Contact it's not really funny. Detected. Because it's dumb. Alright, Tar Heel, do it. That's really kind of sad. They armored up. This next tech level must be making the scouts tougher. Because I remember us wrecking these things relatively easily. Come on, come on, don't run away, you little fucker. I need you. I need- Ah! Oh, I needed that Contact Illyrium. Missed. That sucked. I needed that Illyrium. Alright. So, we're- now, aim with laser cannons, which is kind of scary. All right. Yeah. Here's the results. Zergen leveled up. Very good. All right, I'm really pissed that thing escaping. That's really unfortunate. So, Tony Blau, why don't we go ahead and get me Mind Fray? Make the people who are not going to be chopped psychic. I'm thinking I may want to invest some cash in getting another... How many the days does it require this morning, for me to build Skeleton Key? To more help down here. Skeleton Key. 164. Yeah, 11 days. And then the satellite is, what, 16 days or so? In case we need to raid two bases this month. Commander. 16 days. So the 14th, facilities are at full maybe the 15th capacity. we want to push it. We, should build additional we need to soon. try to get more money, no matter what happens, to get that satellite moving at least. Alright, carry on. Now, hangar, view aircraft. We need to equip laser cannons. Do we have the plasma cannons up already? Alright, Beegs, you need to get some laser cannon up in here. Yeah, we're not giving plasmas to the new guys. For pretty obvious fucking reasons. We're giving that to our senior soldiers. Uh, laser, yup. And let's go laser on Lanier. Perfect. And we're gonna put some plasmas that are coming up on some of our senior operators, some of our commanders, so we can actually do work. Firestorm construction, huh? It's gonna be nice. Plasmas are coming up too. And this is gonna give us a little bit of Illyrium kickback as well. Nine Illyrium. It ain't much, but it's always something. Crest of Mount America doesn't matter, so let's start kidding. I have a feeling because there's been not much UFO action early in the month, we're gonna be feeling a lot of pain here. Now, unfortunately, that didn't really take down their supply either because we didn't get that thing. Oh, for Christ's sake, really? It's gonna make me wait. Okay. Um, so who's our most senior operator? 14 kills, 10, 15. So put it on the tenor, because these are going to be generating lots and lots of kills, and I want that to be busy. Or we could put it technically on someone who's not quite up there, and use that to our advantage. I think I'm going to put it on Swordsman, though. One of our Plasmas. And we should move someone with a Plasma to Europe, technically. I just don't know where the threat is going to be. It's going to be a hunter in South America or not. We don't have a plasma can in South America either, do we? Yeah, see that's... You could you could argue that's an oversight. All right, so there's one in Africa, two in Africa, one in Asia. One in Europe, one in South America, one in North America. So let's go ahead and get this one in and we'll transfer someone else with this. Plasma up here. In the tenor. 
And let's, because we need to kind of cover our ass while that's down there, we'll take our 15 strength and our 14 kill guys up here. And we'll get Pasha, who's looking at 7 kills, which will increase drastically with a plasma cannon. And give this to Pasha. I think that'll work best this way. There weren't too many laser cannons, it seems, I've made. Oh no, because we just flipped out. Yeah, it's fine. I don't mind spending the alloys in the credits, that's, that's alright. Alright, so this is going to be kind of a big jump now, but I think we're all going to be up with lasers and plasma. Yep. So, let's hope we don't get hit too hard for now, and that's obviously a for now thing. 20 floater corpses, this gives us modules from whom? China. Yeah, this does give us modules, we don't see a lot of floaters around these days, so I may want to hold off on that, though giving China higher shield would be good. Floaters give us what? They give us track? The floaters give us aim. And it's three floaters per. So at this point I can make like under 20 aim modules. I do that, it's going to be under 10. Yeah, that's a tough one. If they ask for any other corpses, I would. But basic floaters, I don't see a lot of them. Anymore, at least. Skeleton keys back. Side training. Nova failed. That kind of sucks. All right, try again. And her will isn't very high, which is part of the reason I want her to do this training. Because that's beyond the psychic ability. It's also, you know, increasing the will. Detected. Terrorized populous large terror ship in the UK. Um, hold on. Ignore for a sec. Is that one of our high? Yeah, it's one of our high ones, right? And we don't have much of a shield. So it looks like UK is going to be the next target. So this is the... This is the ground tester and the next one is going to be the actual terror ship which you can't do much about at this point so i've seen worse so let's get ragman up there i think just take a look at it but i'm pretty sure Contact there's detected. nothing we can do about this this is the scanner and spotter and now that you see the uh hyperway really giving the idea of the missions bangs we'll know what's up this is yeah disengaging that's the, that's the spotter and the assault carrier is coming all right I can't do anything here. Okay. Immediately. Immediately after. They want to get this moving. And they are probably going to be looking at... Alright. I mean, there's really nothing I can do except look at it. But this is happening immediately. So, okay, we're starting the month over the terror mission in UK. Which is a high panic country. We're going to have to pull Nova out. Engaging bogey. In order to address this. Yeah, it's so Alright. Leave it. And this will be a terror mission in the UK, in Sheffield, no less. All right, we're going to send the Sky Ranger. But with this in mind, wait a minute. Do we have Mammy up? Okay, we can use Mammy instead of Nova, and that's fine. I was going to say, oh my god, we don't have anyone who we need for this, but we do. All right, so yeah, we're going to we're gonna load this out. We're going to double mech this. We're going to do everything we normally do to try and save the good British citizens from alien aggression and control and evil things or whatever the hell. All right, Saint. Let's do the kid out at least. I don't think we're going to get running on the mission this particular episode, but at least we'll see who we're taking. Uh, what kind of map? Urban large structure. This could be any number of things. So, yeah. We've got to plan accordingly because the map can change drastically. Saints commanding. We could take Wolf or we could take Hank. And I'm leaning toward taking Hank. Just because the range is going to be solid, and also he's up to mind control almost, which is nice, and Wolf needs to dump in the psychic tank, so... I think I'm going to take Hank. Just for the range. I mean, Cherry's also a Master Sergeant. Her aim is really, 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 really good, but she needs to... Yeah, I mean, compared to Hank, right? Her aim is already better than Hank's. She's in the zone. Alright, fuck it, let's take Kaze. She's technically better on paper, so... Except for the will. One thing, but we should be okay. <laughs> Famous last words. All right, Pathfinder, which is kind of an infantry role. Uh, we're going to lock down an archer for the artillery type role. And then shubity boop, shiggity schwet. We're going to need engineer or rocketeer. That's always my question, because without a dependable source of shred, we may have a problem. But we need a gunner, dependable source of heat. It's probably going to be Dane, but Dane can go into mind control right now. So who would I take? I can take Morris, who is psychic. Her movement's a little poor, but not that much worse than Dane's. I can, you know, let me take Morris, and she does provide another psychic operative. So Morris is going on the gunner roll, and let's take 
support medic. I think that's kind of a no-brainer. So Edwinbo's got to come along. And the last slot is really the question. Is it going to be Boom Boom NG or Rocketeer? And if we get hit as much shred as we did last time, I feel like a Rocketeer is going to be really useful. And because it's a terror mission, I would take Dog 100 to get his last, you know, experience stripe, effectively. But I need the Javelins, so I'm going to take Meepy. And we're going to kind of abuse the Javelins as much as possible before we get the Blaster Launcher. So let's get that loaded. Load out Saint with Titan. With the Reflex. With the... Ooh, Sheet Balls. We need the... It's a sidearm for Saint. Is it going to be the I think it's going to be the heater. Yeah, and that's better. Uh, not walkers. We the usual tank stuff. So breaching, impact, and shooty boop. Titan plate. Done, Mammy. We still don't have a proper gun. Fortunately, we're not running an infantry on this mission, so we can put you a rifle. Full size win. Um, and then we're going to go with the motion track, the chameleon suit, and the Titan. Down here, perfect the match. All right, sniper. The reason we're taking a full-length sniper is because sniper rifle, archangel armor, your sidearm. That's exactly why we gave Saint the heater. And the alloy bipod, the neural, which is right up here, as I've learned, neural gun link, and probably the OSB, just in case we get really shot up in a bad way, because we have in the zone that'll be easier to utilize now. And now let's properly spec our mechs, shall we? I mean, kit them out. They're spec properly. EMP, flamethrower, KSM, carbide, core, battle computer. Okay. Yes. Good. Do it again. Uh, Dauntless for tank. Pulse. Grenade. Grenade. Proxy. Carbide. Core. And BC. All right. Good. So, gunner, load out. Because we want to practice mobility here, we are going to be trying to save civilians. Titan armor. Let's go with the Nova gun. Yep. And, yeah. Executioner. Yes. Who's the officer here? Saint. Yeah, we don't need that. So, executioner, um, walkers, and AP. I think 20 hit points is fine here. I would put, keep putting Kite in here, but just the movements would be so important lately for the AP on to really wreck any kind of mechanical units going against us. And we'll be able to take on the Carbine and the Storm Gun. Your movement's are already pretty freaking good. Let's take the Carbine, get a little more firepower, double that, and we're going to go with the Cybang. That's been useful in the past, so we're going to make it useful again. Where are you? Cybang. For those just when you can't get enough moments. And load out our Rocketeer with the Storm Gun, the Archangel Armor, which will abuse with Javelins, Recoilless Rifle, same dealio, and Neural Gun Link. Okay, so we have a pretty prime crew here to handle this terror mission as we always do. And except for Mammy not having armor, which I seriously, I think I have a subconscious wish to get my units killed. It's just really bad, and I think. I think this long war has been going a long time. I'm starting to forget myself. All right, very good. So I will take this on next time on the long war. I have been nursed, and I'll catch you all then. Till then.